Hello, my name is Steve and this is Hot Wheels Time Trials and I'm going to build a drag race timer using my, using my Super Starter Kit Uno 3 project. And this is from Elegoo.com. This was about $35. So everything I'm using except for this little piece of balsa wood and I've got some Hot Wheels tracks. I have this two-lane Hot Wheels garage thing that I'm going to be using. I've got a pair of wire trimmer things I got at Lowe's and some doorbell wire. I got this at Lowe's and I think it was two or three dollars for a pack of 25 feet. I think it's it might be 18 gauge. Maybe that's what the 18's for. I have no idea, but when I was buying it, I was looking at what it was and it worked. And the plans I'm using are from the 2017 Arduino Inventor's Guide that I downloaded off the internet. I printed out the page with the drawing that I'm using. And then it's got the, uh, on the back side, I just printed the page that had where the uh, INO file is that you download to the Arduino. And I've already downloaded that to here, so it should work if I do everything correctly. Um, the only thing, I think I have everything out of here. This is the breadboard that came in here. This is another little breadboard that came in here. I've got two. 10k resistors if you can see those there i've got two photo resistors that came in here i've got a potentiometer and a push button and this is my start push button this was a piece of wire that came out of a little three inch uh, notepad that i just got out of it and this is from a paper clip that i'll use this servo motor came out of the kit the balsa wood is just something I found laying around and I put a nail in it to mount the servo to that and then I'll use the rubber bands to mount it to here so it will pull the start gate that you can see right here on it. Anyway, I'll show you that shortly. Um, I think I got everything out of here. I need, a, I need the LED screen. And I believe that is it. I've got plenty of wires here. And uh, most of these wires came out of the kit. I'm going to cut a long one that will go from the servo or from the start button to the uh, little ends of my Hot Wheels track. I don't know if you can see that. Those holes... That is the only thing I used the solder iron for. I heated it up, put these over each other, and uh, mounted them on here. At the end here, they plug into the end of the track right here and uh, poked holes in them to where they're at the exact same spot. So put these on the floor, and you can kind of see that they're identical spot there if you can see my thumb moving back and forth at the back so that's um, how I kind of did this so I'm just going to be plugging and playing here I'm going to plug the LED screen into here plug that into the first row on the breadboard I'm going to plug the potentiometer in over here and that's going to go across here if you don't know how a breadboard works the five holes here are all linked together and the five holes here are linked together i think i got that in there crooked um so that's how that works um all of these, the red side are all linked together and the blue side are all linked together. And typically the blue side is the ground and the uh, red side is the power side. 
And then I've got a little push button thing here that I'll put across the middle here. And I've got this little breadboard that I use when I... That, this is my Elegoo Arduino. I may have said that before. And uh, this is a... I think the plans were from a Spark Fun um, thing. I'm not really sure. But I had to go on this uh, www.nostarch.com slash Arduino Inventor slash to... Uh, find this p9 underscore two car drag race timer ino file so i downloaded that from there but anyway just to wire this up i always try to go sequentially so since uh the first thing i'm gonna do is i have i need a little short wire and i should have probably separated these but you know, hindsight's 2020. So I'm going to go from the three. That is, yeah, that's one, two, three. So that goes to right there. And I'm counting from the little solder points there. As you can see, that's where the wires go in from the LCD board. I'm going to do that one. And then, uh, Let's see, let's get another not too long one to go from the, this one's going to go to the power and that's on this side. This will go to there and this one will go to the ground side. That one needs to go to the power. That one goes to the ground. And what this potentiometer does, I can turn it and it'll cause the LCD to be brighter or dimmer. So it's kind of a dimmer switch for the LCD. So I got those two. Now my push button. Let's go. Uh, this first one here goes to the ground. Let's find another short wire. Okay. Okay, so this goes to ground. And that goes to ground. And the other side goes to one, two, three. Let's see, this goes this way. So I got that counted right. So that'll go to number five. So I'm gonna use a kind of a medium one. And I can, that's not too medium. Eh, that's kind of a medium one. Let's go from here number five and it's, look, this Elegoo has the things on the side here so I can see to make sure I'm plugging everything in correctly okay so that goes to there my resistors I'm going to plug into where did I put my resistors okay they're over here and they're going from I'm going to plug those here. Both these go to the ground side. So I'm going to plug that one in here. This one over here. That's not staying in very well. Let's find one. Well, just have to go with it. As long as it's in there, I think it's okay. And then I'll do this one from here. That one's going in very well. I like that. Over to here. Okay. So. And. 
I'm going to plug the photo resistors into here because I run them from under the track. So, and I want these a little hard to get in there, which that's a little overly hard. This one. That goes down in there. Okay. There's that one. And this other one is going to go. There's some overlap on these, so I'll have to do that on the other end here. thought I brought it in here maybe I didn't anyway so so what are you looking at over here this is basically a schematic type thing only it's showing the wiring how I'm gonna wire it up so start here on the end and get a short wire that's gonna go from this first slot to the ground okay the second one is going to the power. I know some people are a little more specific about which colors they use for what, but I'm not, as long as I do everything correctly. Now I need a longer one to go to that third one. To, it looks like number 13. That's going from here to the 13th hole. Oh, I didn't know that had numbers. Let's see. Yeah, it's got numbers here and then it's got them on the side. So I know which it's got them on both sides actually. So that's why I really like this Elegoo. And so this next one, this green one goes to the 12. Okay, we had a station break there to swap the battery out. We'll plug this in here. That in there. I'm going to connect this. I don't know how much more I'll need that. I'm going to put all this... Here. 
Okay. We got that. Here, hand me that and I'll get it from this side. This is just showing. I've got the rubber band going around the back of the thing and just holding this little balsa wood in place. And then I'm going to connect. I'm going to make this kind of triple it, fold it over kind of in triple and put it on here and then connect it to that. And then this one, I'm going to put through this top hole here. And I'm always so good at putting things through small holes. So we got that in there. Okay. And. Okay, so that's right there. Now, what I can do is. Okay, that's the start race thing. When I press the button. It says go that comes down and then put it back over here when I go across the light thing it gives a time so let me reset it when I reset it this resets up here okay I'm gonna miss that yeah okay so here's my two cars a 69 Capo Camaro and a Rogue Hog. Yeah, so let's see in ounces, the Camaro weighs 1.351 and the Road Hog weighs 1.311 so this one's a little heavier okay so i'm gonna put the camaro in lane one and this is lane two okay you might want to get this from back up here to get the whole track if you can so we'll press the button Okay, there's a little hump in my track here, so. Winner is. Yeah, the... let's do that again. <clears throat> okay, so the Copo Camaro, I don't know how straight that is. And then the Rogue Hog, okay. Okay, so car one, the Capo Camaro one in 1.14, 114. I don't know the time for the other one, but it lost. I need to get a different program that'll tell me the time for both cars. So as far as the time trial goes, this one won the time trial. And I have a time here so I can seat them accordingly. And... Uh, if I wanted to see how fast this one went on its own, I press the reset button. And this resets. So I can put this one running by itself in lane one. And then press the button. And it got 1.080. So it actually had a faster time. So anyway. As time trials goes, that's a time trial. And I hooked it, I took the battery off and hooked it up to my power bank that I use for my phone or whatnot. And um, I added a breadboard here because these stiff wires wouldn't go so well with the breadboard under there going to the light sensors. So that's just, these wires are a little more limber. And I, and that's your sensors. Yeah, those are the sensors right there. So when the light goes over them, as when I reset, so watch, 
get a picture where you can just kind of see here down to here if that's okay so say i press go it says go right there and then when a car trips the light it gives me a time so then i can reset and say i want you know the other say the other lane went faster well you know if i put if i block the light there then that's one point that's lane car one this one's lane two so but anyway it's relatively easy to put together uh the the code and the instructions if you down if you do a search for the 2017 arduino inventor's guide pdf free you can probably find it just by googling it and i downloaded and this is project number nine in the book and uh, i printed off the whole project pdf just those pages so it's like 30 38 pages and this is this is page uh, 36 that has the where you download the code and this is uh, page 38 37 had a picture of something i don't even remember but you can download it it's like i say the a couple of these extra things are just the, the wire i got at lowe's the wire cutters i got at lowe's i had an extra breadboard from one of the first arduinos i bought that uh, I just kind of messed around with with LED lights. I got a. I learned a lot about Arduinos. There's a guy on YouTube called Paul McWhorter, M C W H O R T E R. His first name's Paul. If you put his name in an Arduino, he offers a lot of different courses, where it's just him on YouTube showing how to wire things up, and he uses the uh, Elegoo Super Starter Kit. So everything he uses is in that kit. So uh, anyway, that's really all you need. And you can learn, just get you familiar with the Arduino stuff on his YouTube page. He's very helpful. And uh, anyway, that's all I had to do to learn enough about this to be able to put this together. And I'm hoping to make it a little more uh, polished, I guess would be the word for it. And uh, then I can post some videos of some hot wheels and some time trials and i've got my little scale here where i can weigh them and i'll keep all keep track of everything in the spreadsheet you anyway, if you got any questions uh drop a note in the comments thanks a lot and goodbye